Right, here you go. Hi, my name is Mark Cantor, and I'm here to tell you about these two books I've written. At last year's Immerse Day, I was talking about how to build the open mesh, and that was draft three. Over the past year, I've evolved this theory, it's a manifesto, on the notion of dashboards. And so I created this fence in my backyard and built consensus with my colleagues, and this is the theoretical treatise on how we can all interconnect together uh, using a distributed architecture approach, where every application, whether it's a blog, a social network, e-commerce, whatever, has a dashboard. Think of it as a dashboard. And there are containers inside there that we can use to interconnect things together. So I wrote this book, and I was uh, being solicited at the White House to go uh, work at the White House to be a distributed architect. And then I said, you know, instead of doing the theory, I think I will put this into practice. So I'm taking my theory, and I've moved to Cleveland, Ohio. And we're going to take this practice and we're going to build a digital city there. And I'm teaching at Case Western, recruiting students to write the code. I'm aligning myself with government and foundations to fund the process and creating a new way to innovate workforce development, to train workers to develop new job skills that are multimedia production skills, that are online skills, because all jobs of the future will be involved with technology. Okay? So, uh, so. I'm taking the theory, I'm putting it to practice, and we're building a digital city in northeastern Ohio. What about the remark that Hans um, Rosang made about the need for designers of... Um, uh, Visualization. Right. Exactly what I'm talking about. Let me, for instance, the Wikipedia is really the Encyclopedia Britannica put online with some community and some links. It still is text with a photograph. Now, if you went to a page on a battle, whether it was the Battle of Dunkirk, or D-Day, or Bien Ben Phu, or whatever the battle is, you'd expect to see animated arrows of the movement of the troops right. over a few days' period of time. And if you went to a page on Green Job Database, and I wanted to install a hot water heater, okay, it would show me a diagram of the hot water heater and what we have what's called exploded diagram right where you see the drawing up and you see the pieces of the hot water heater and you double click and up would start the video that would show me how to install the hot water heater and if I went to a page on polymers and I wanted to learn about polymers I would see all these incredible animations and graphics and drawings and there would be video games and ways for me to click and drag and drop now the reason why I bring up polymers is that Akron Ohio is the world headquarters for polymers. They invented synthetic rubber in Akron, Ohio. Okay? Now, they have a beautiful $200 million building. They have 50 full-time PhDs in the study of polymers. And if you want to learn about polymers, you go to Akron, Ohio. But the problem is that their online offerings are very minimal. So I would go, and I have gone to Akron, Ohio, and I would say, look guys, over the next three years, we will spend five million dollars. We're going to build out the most incredible polymer video games and toys and all these things to train people and put it online, right? And now here's my business model. I will take this money that will be used to produce online polymer stuff, we will produce the content, we will train workers in the job skills necessary to produce that content, and we use that money to produce our open digital city platform. So we do a three for one on the money. You see, every government has to put money into workforce development right. to train their citizens, but they don't have, they're very unsuccessful. So we want to use this money to build out and convert Wikipedia to an online multimedia encyclopedia. Now, I started Macromind 25 years ago, and look at the progress we've made. And if we look out 25 years, and we can imagine Blade Runner and Minority Report and all these wonderful things. But we know that the users won't pay for the New York Times. They won't pay for music. They won't pay for movies. So who's going to pay for this incredible multimedia encyclopedia? The polymer people. Every brand, every foundation, every city has a particular interest that they want to do. If you look at the three million entries in Wikipedia, if we convert 1%, that's 30,000 projects. For the next 25 years, we're going to be converting all this text data into interactive multimedia, exactly what Hans said. And while we're going to do that, we're going to convert our workforce from operating forklifts and being blue-collar workers into knowledge workers that have multimedia production skill sets who 
who can shoot video, edit the video, create the web page, tag it, index it, and that's the future. And that's all jobs are about tech. Right. Thank you.